welcome back. My final tipping point tonight, she's back. Hillary Clinton released a video message. She's a lot more fun to deal with now that there's no chance she'll be president. The message is rabidly sexist. Take a look. Despite all the challenges we face, I remain convinced that yes, the future is female. Just look at the amazing energy we saw last month as women organized a march that galvanized millions of people all over our country and across the world. As I've said before, I'll say again, never doubt that you are valuable and powerful and deserving of every chance and opportunity in the world. Hillary, what about unborn women? What about women oppressed by Sharia law, by the Muslim billionaires Hillary Clinton palled around with? What about people who believe there are 31 genders? That's a real thing, by the way. New York City recognizes 31 genders. I kid you not. I think Hillary Clinton meant never doubt you are valuable and powerful and deserving of every chance and opportunity in the world, despite the fact that Democrats will tell you you're a victim of the patriarchy, despite the fact that liberals will tell you you're not a true woman unless you voted for Hillary Clinton, despite the fact that feminists will exclude you from their so-called women's march if you are a pro-life woman. You're valuable and powerful, Hillary says, unless you're unborn. Then you have no constitutional rights and no power to save your own life. What a horrible, horrible message. What does this say to young boys and young men? The future is female? Well, you're not worth anything, buddy. You were born with the wrong bits between your legs. Obviously, that means you're inherently sexist. You don't get a future unless you want to call yourself a lady. How empowering. The future is female. Tell that to Senate Democrats who spent the last two weeks tearing down the brand new Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos. Tell that to Nordstrom, who dropped Ivanka Trump's clothing brand from their stores. Obviously not because she's Donald Trump's daughter. The future is female? Tell that to CNN, who reportedly wouldn't have Kellyanne Conway, the first woman to run a winning presidential campaign, on their network for two days because she misspoke. Tell that to Rahm Emanuel and mayors of cities across the nation who call themselves sanctuary cities, while women like Kate Steinle are the ones who pay the ultimate price. The future is female? Tell that to your pal Cecile Richards, who spends her time getting rich while her company ends the lives of over 160,000 unborn women who are not protected, not valued, not empowered every single year. And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us live here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.